All right, guys. What's up? It's uh, it's Jay again. Coming back for my update for Accutane. About a year, a year since I've been off of it. Um, what can I say? Um, for any of you that have watched my other videos, uh, all right, that's a little annoying. Any of you that have watched my other videos know that. Um, I was on Accutane for roughly about five and a half, six months, and um, overall, the results are still pretty much here. I haven't had really anything significant on my whole body in I don't know how long. I do get the occasional pimples here and there on my body, on my back, you know, my elbow shoulders like I used to get, sometimes here and there in my chest, but honestly, it's more so like if I have to, you know shave or like get rid of the hair on my upper back and then it grows back in that kind of when I get pimples same thing with my face um you can't tell now because I just shaved today but uh, I had like a pretty pretty thick beard going on over here like kind of like this all down here I hadn't shaved in like three and a half weeks almost a month probably and um that's really the only time I get pimples now in you know or acne at all is when I don't shave for a while and then the oiliness from my facial hair kind of sits on my face. That's that's really the only time that I get acne, acne. And um, other than that, things have been good. Um, you know, in the works of getting a new job now, going back to school in March. And, you know, Agutane pretty much put my life back on track, especially over the past year. I mean, I like I said, I mean, right now on my face, because of my facial hair and me having a beard, I I do have a couple pimples, and they're more so were blackheads, but I, I squeeze them. You know, you're not supposed to pop your pimples, but I can't stand them being on my face, even with the blackheads, so I squeeze them, and they were over here. You can probably see them a little bit in the camera. There's two red dots right there, and I mean, with my, my complexion, you can see them even more, because I'm really, I'm really light-skinned as it is. Um... And I got like one on my lip from more so razor irritation than anything. It's like right here. But I don't get like, you know, knock on wood. I don't I don't get the cystic acne anymore. Like I didn't have it that bad to begin with, but I don't get any cystic pimples, you know, for now. God willing that I don't get any more. Um I get the occasional little like whiteheads and stuff like that, like around my mouth maybe now and then, but for the most part, I'm happy. My skin's better. Um the acne goes away faster than I do get, and you know what I mean. All, all in all, I don't think it would be fair to like to like be mad at me taking the medicine and you know not being a hundred percent clear for the rest of my life. I just wanted it to be better. That was my only goal. I don't care if I'm a hundred percent clear for the rest of my life. I just want it to be a lot better than it was, and it is a lot better than it was, and um. You know, well, what else can I really say about it? I mean, if your skin's bad and it's really making you self-conscious, like I would, I would go for it. Honestly, I would go for it all day. And if the higher doses make you feel like more side effects, go on a lower dose. That's what I had to do. I started off the first couple months on forty mil, forty mil, uh, first month on forty milligrams. Then I went to eighty every day for the second month, and that was just too much. I had back pain. I had joint pain, all that stuff, and then I went down to 40 milligrams. Uh, I pretty much did a 40-80 split, like 41 day, 80 the next, 41 day, 80 the next for like months two and three, and then months four, it was just 40 milligrams pretty much across the board, and then five and six were just 40 milligrams, and then pretty much wean myself off of it, did like 40 milligrams every other day and then like twice a week and then like once a week and then that, that was it. It took about like six, six and a half months for me. I mean, and I didn't have health insurance and I had to pay out of pocket. So that's kind of why I weaned myself off. Anybody can say whatever about, oh, well, you shouldn't have done that. You should have had a doctor, you know, get you off or tell you when to stop or keep taking up to the last day. I just couldn't do it. You know what I mean? I didn't, it's, when you don't have health insurance, then we'll talk and we'll see how much, you know, you really want to pay attention to all that little, all the minor details, we'll say. 
But uh, when you're paying five hundred dollars a month for a, a medicine, it's it gets a little ridiculous. But um, if I ever had to go on it again, if the acne did come back and or if it does come back, then I probably will. I ha I have to be honest with you, I probably will, because the second time has a much higher success rate to pretty much rid you of acne f for the most part for the rest of your life, whereas the first part is kind of first first time around is kind of like fifty fifty. But I mean, either way. If you're on the fence about going on Accutane, if you really need more information, do your research. Don't look at the negative reviews because there's always going to be negative reviews on no matter what medicine you take. Look at the positive and look at how much it's really affecting your life, your overall happiness in, in your life. If you can't be happy without, if you can't be happy, period, if you're looking in the mirror 24-7 wondering about what your skin looks like, depressed about it, don't you, you're losing your social aspect of, of your whole life then then go on it try it out if it doesn't work with your body then get off of it find something else that works for you but for me Accutane was the only thing that was making a big enough difference for me to for me to see results and for me to be satisfied with how my skin was improving that, that that's bottom line um this video has been it's been almost a year since I made my last video and that was right when I stopped Accutane, which is around March, like the beginning of March. So it's been almost a year and I've been off and I haven't had any big breakouts, any, any big breakouts. I mean, I get like, like I said, the little stuff here and there, but nothing. And I, and I will emphasize, I can't emphasize this enough. Nothing like I used to have nothing. My body is the biggest improvement. Yeah. I still get little stuff on my face, but my body awesome. I can't complain. You know what I mean? The, re the results the results are there. So if you're on the fence about it, like I said, try it out. If anybody has any questions about pricing, how to get on Accutane, side effects, my tips, recommendations of while you're on it, off it, before it, anything, just let me know in the comment box. Like like my video, subscribe to me, so I'll, I'll give you more updates if you guys want them, anything. Just let me know anything I can help you guys with, and I'll be more than willing. So... That's all I really have to say, and uh, I, I wish any of you the best of luck who, uh, any, to any of you who can't speak today who are going to go on Accutane. Other than that, have a good day, guys.